Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 15 of my Minecraft 1.20 Let's Play like it's 2010 again. I'm sorry for my absence. I think I'm back though. I think I'm back though. Apparently an Enderman was in here when we were last AFK and I didn't kill all the blazes because I want you guys to experience some of the mob farm with me. I think there's still around 100 left. Now I'm not exactly sure what I'm getting XP for, but I do eventually want to get netherite tools. I don't know, I got a whole list of things planned that I want to try to get done in the next few days. Uh, I'm going to try to at least get an episode out per week now. Maybe more, we shall see. But I do appreciate you guys sticking with me. You guys truly are the kindest just community in, in the whole YouTube sphere. I, I do appreciate it. Uh, but yes, we got the Wither Skulls. That's right, I kind of forgot about that. I had spent, I don't know if it was two weeks ago or something, I was in a Discord call with a bunch of people. <clears throat> and they had asked me what I was doing and the entire time I think I was just killing blazes uh, or, or not blazes you guys don't it killing wither skeletons and it took so long it took so long. I almost gave up and said you know what I don't need a beacon but I am gonna need a beacon at some point so we definitely did get enough we got three and I believe that's the right kind of soul sand too nice Okay, so I'm going to take the long path home. I, I don't even think I took the right path. How do I get over... Oh, my game's kind of quiet, too. How do I even get over there? Honestly, I've forgotten. I'm going to go over there myself, and let's see. Uh, a little bit risky, but it works. A little bit risky, but it works. How do you get over here? Oh, it's on the same layer as the blazes? I had no idea. Okay, I'll meet you guys back home, and I'll show you the signs I have where I have a bunch of stuff planned out. And I did just wake up, but my voice will awaken as the episode goes on. I, I, I hope. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, 50 levels, nothing to snuff at. That's like, uh... Three... Th <laughs> I don't even know. I guess that's five or six level three enchants, because that would be 18, 32. Seven. Seven level 30 enchants because they cost three levels a piece so it'd be 21 minus 50 you get down to 29 something like that so i put the signs front and center i do remember putting these down beacon time wither time i think those are kind of together one and the same i don't know where to fight the way they're probably underground iron farm time protect village time which we will need to get cobblestone for but we can start digging the quarry a little bit we're still gonna dig the quarry we're still going to dig, dig the quarry. Uh, beat the game time, which we do need to do. Make base in the end time. So those are kind of tied together. And then we, once we're in the end, I do want to make like an Enderman XP farm. And then easy access to the end via rails. So I don't... Yes, I did get a bunch of Ender Pearls, but I believe I already had some. Uh, just by virtue of being in the nether, I think I killed a bunch of Endermen. Now, I don't know where those would be, though. I feel like I would have put them in here... No? Where would I have put rare mob drops? Jeez, do we have enough blaze rods? Wait, hold on a second. So, if we ever need fuel for our furnaces, we will use these. People were like, Neo, you should use those. But I don't know how much, like, how much does a blaze rod do compared to, like, you know, coal? I don't believe we have any ores, so we can't really check. But we'll go ahead and just uh, load these up. That way, next time we use them, we'll be pleasantly surprised. And I don't really remember why I had diamonds. Maybe it was to repair something, but I don't... I honestly don't know. Maybe it was to repair my sword? <clears throat> I don't know. It's been a long time since I played. It's like three weeks, so I, I'm kind of got all this lost as you guys are. I don't know. Where do I put this? Warped Nylium. Is technically a stone, but it's also kind of dirt, but it's kind of more stone, I'd say. When you break it, is it kind of... I mean, I just broke it with a pickaxe, so we'll, we'll, just, we'll just say it's that. We'll put up these. Uh, I'd say magma cream is like a blaze kind of drop. I mean, it's from the nether, but it's about the closest association I can make. Do we... Well, hello, Mr. Horsey. We got snow bell over here. <coughs> what is this all highlighted? I know to protect the villagers. Old school nether castle. We do need to do that. I think I've been in the nether enough. I'm just kind of looking through here. Let, let me see what I'm, I'm looking for. I do remember now. We had a good bow, but we died in the nether and we lost it. So we don't have a good bow anymore. Huh. 
I also really don't know, like, if we have... Yeah, we don't have enough stuff to make a beacon, even if we wanted to. You're going to have to go iron farming or make an iron farm or something. But I do remember how you kill the wither in an easy way, I believe. And yes, I'm going to use an easy method. I do want to go somewhat far away from my house, like, in case I mess this up. But I believe you just dig, like, a two-by-one tunnel, you know, that fits the, uh, the old Steve in there. I got my old skin back on. And then I believe you just, like, spawn it and then kind of walk backwards and it can't really hit you. Like, I don't want to do it that way, but I am not equipped to do it normally. I would die so fast. So this is the village I want to protect. At some point, we'll protect it. I have no idea when, but we need to get enough cobblestone to do that. And, uh, well, yeah, we need to get enough cobblestone. We have... We left the villager bell here. Um, so we'll dig in the quarry or I'll do it off camera between episodes. Something like that. Ooh, impromptu crafting table. Nice. It's not that big, but and I don't want to build like a super fancy wall or anything. But if we want to do like, you know, a custom village and upgrade the village and make it all cherry themed, which I do want to do because I, I, I want it to fit with our uh, little base area. I say we go over... I'm like looking up above like it's gonna help me. We'll go over here near where this snow is on the side of the hill. And then I'll dig a staircase. It doesn't even need to be that deep. I just don't want it to come out and like start wrecking my world. So we'll just like start right here and then I'll dig down for a little bit and uh, make a little tunnel. Then I'll come back when the tunnel's done and uh, we'll fight it. See like, I'm talking about like that far down. I think that's probably far enough down. And so now the tunnel that I'm talking about is literally just like a tunnel like this. Like it's not, it's nothing special. It's just, and then eventually you'll break out like an area like this, maybe a little bigger. You put the stuff down and then you fight it. Something like that. I think, I don't know. I, I, I hope I don't mess this up. That's the only thing I'm hoping because it might, uh, it's kind of dark in here. I might want to. I'm gonna put a few torches, and I don't know how long of a tunnel to make, right? Like I don't know how I, I, don't, I haven't fought the wither in like over a year, so I'm I'm kind of scared. Let me be honest, I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> That's great. <clears throat> well, it looks like we've, uh, you know, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think this is long enough to fight it, but we did. Oh, I didn't even notice this. But we did find a cave, which is pretty good. Now, I'm pretty sure you can make beacons out of iron blocks. Like, I don't think it has to be anything higher than an iron block. But even if it does have to be iron blocks, like, we don't have enough iron. So we're going to have to figure something out. Whether we make a little iron farm or... I'm really not sure. We, we may go the iron farm route. Because we do have villagers near us. But we may want to do a little villager breeder so we get a few more. Hmm... <clears throat> I'm really not sure. I also don't know why I have to cle keep clearing my throat. Something in my throat, man. Something get me. It's gonna get me. Okay, let's go look at this cave. It looked to be very massive. Like, one of the big, big caves. Maybe it's full of iron, since it's higher up. Uh... I actually don't see a single piece of iron. But we'll still go in here. Maybe there's something. Couple mobs. It'd be fun to fight it underground, but again, I feel like I would die so fast. <clears throat> I do not have confidence in my ability here. Maybe after we defeat it once, then I'll feel better. I don't, I still, I don't think it's something you do more than once. So I, think, I guess if you need more than one beacon, I really don't know. I put up. Oh, I didn't put up the ender pearls. If I die with these, dude. Yeah, there's not that much iron in here, huh? I really don't know, but an iron farm sounds kind of nice. Because, I don't know. Or we'll, we'll go and mine iron today, I guess, so we can get the beacon. But we're going to probably want an iron farm anyways. <clears throat> um, I feel like that's definitely not a long enough distance to, to kill it, but... I'm a man of chances. We're going to try this. We're going to try this. So I'm going to dig out like a decent sized little area here. I don't even know how big it has to be, but let me just dig something out. Now, like even this may be too big, but it's okay. If it's, if it's too big, that's okay. I'm also going to preemptively, uh, turn the brightness, like w not the brightness. You know what I'm saying? Turn the volume way down. See when you don't commentate for like three weeks, it's been three weeks, man. Uh, your voice gets a little, uh, 
a little messed up. Oh, that's right, you can't hit it. It's invulnerable until it blows up. Hello, sir? Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, it's charging at the top. Oh, wow, it blew up a big hole. Hello, good sir. Um, I feel like the last time I fought the Wither was was when our hardcore world. You guys remember where I fought the Wither? Fought like three at once or something. Why is it up there? Oh, to the cave. Okay, well we just lost like most of our path. This is not going as planned. This is not going as planned. Oh, oh. <laughs> I should have. I should have made a bow and arrow. I can't even hit it. It's stuck. It's like stuck up there. Wait, 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 maybe if I if I do that, will it? Oh no, dude, it's like stuck up there. How long do I have the wither? Thirty seconds? Huh? <laughs> okay. Well, we gotta we gotta wait a little bit. Do you think we have steak though? I mean, honestly, it's not really. I think we're out healing it. Oh, 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 oh! Look how much damage we've done. We've done nothing. Oh, it, oh, it's healing itself. What? <laughs> Maybe we'll just leave the wither down here. We'll come back when we have sharpness five or something, dude. I can't. That's not a good sign. I don't know where it went. Uh. Hello, sir. You're going to have to leave eventually. Can you... Oh, this was such a bad idea. <laughs> I shouldn't have done this near a cave. See, if I, like, go over here, will it, like, try to pathfind to me? Or is it just going to float up? Because sometimes they just don't... Yeah, look. <clears throat> it's just... It's just, like, shooting me. I love this, uh... Is there a way I can turn that off? Like, the damage, like, uh, making my screen all tilt? Hold on. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know where, I don't know where that would be. Like, uh, quality? Would it be in quality? No, it's not in quality. Wait. Distortion effects. Portal and nausea? What if we turn that off? That's definitely not it. Let me look. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you could turn that off. I don't know what we're supposed to do. I don't, I don't even know where it is anymore. Where'd you go, buddy? Oh. Okay, we don't have the wither effect, finally. So let's eat. Let's get full health. Like, the second it shoots you, you get wither, though. Yeah, you're back to wither. Okay. We're just gonna try to body it. We're gonna make, we're gonna make a new path over here. We're gonna make a new path. You're gonna follow me over here. Maybe? I don't know. I just need to like, get on its level or it's not going to work. Maybe. I mean, I, I'm talking like I know, but I really don't. That's not long enough. I'm just afraid if I leave it, like, is it, is it going to start like freaking out? Like, I don't want it to get out and start blowing up all my stuff. If it made it to the CBC SOG, we're done. We're done. If it, if it starts killing my cows, I'm going to have to spawn like 100 withers and kill them all. All at once. Okay, come on. Please, dude. Okay, buddy. You know what? I do need a screenshot. This might be a little difficult. <laughs> okay, come here, buddy. Uh, oh, yes. Great screenshot. <laughs> hey, hold on. Let me, uh... Oh, I shouldn't have helped you. No, oh, that's great. I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have helped it. It's okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll take, like, a screenshot of a beacon or something. <laughs> I think you guys will get the idea. They like, almost killed me there, but this is what you're supposed to do. I believe, is it's just to get it like this. Where it can't hit you, but you can hit it. Kind of cheese it a little bit. Yeah, this is, this is exactly what you're supposed to do. I think this is working just fine. It's almost dead. I do need to make my tunnel a little bit longer. Oh gosh. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Is it going to start healing? It is healing. I saw it heal a little bit. It's healing. Come on, pickaxe. Go faster. Uh, need to eat again. It's healing, but it's, it, it's healing very slowly. So I think it'll be okay. We don't have the wither effect anymore. Oh, it's almost dead. Okay, we're good. We're good. I think we're good. 
Oh, let's go! Yo, we got the nether star! Hey! Nice! Oh, look at all the cobblestone! It's actually helpful because like we, we don't have any cobblestone. We only have stone because we have silk touch on our pickaxe. A lot of cobblestone up here. Okay, I can turn the sound back up. Nice. Okay, cool. <laughs> I thought we were. I thought we weren't gonna get it after the, uh, after the uh, floating cave incident. Nice. Nether star. Cool. I don't even know how to craft a beacon. Like I, if I'm completely honest, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. On, I'm gonna go on my phone. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up real quick. We're gonna look up a beacon recipe. What is it? Five pieces of glass, three obsidian, and a nether star. Oh, okay. Well, I probably could have guessed that. That's not that bad at all. Okay. So we need at least iron blocks to do this. Is it a rainy day? Or is it just dark? Or the morning? I think it's the morning. Because we went in right before it was dark. Yes, it is the morning. Oh, beautiful. The sun rises on a, a fresh wither kill day. It's a good day, man. Look at this nether star. It's such a nice item. Like, it actually is such a nice item. There we go. Maybe that'll be the, the thumbnail. I'm not too worried about the thumbnails anymore. I just kind of take a cool look at picture and I'm like, that looks good. I don't know. I, I used to be real obsessed. Spend a couple hours sometimes even perfecting the thumbnail. Now we're just we're just enjoying it. I'm going to go look at this. <laughs> I, I kind of like just like push this out of my head mentally. This uh, quarry over here. Let's just uh, take a little gander. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's just not look at it too close. Just not look at it too close. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, I think it's either carrots or potatoes that you use with a villager farm. I think either or works. So, I'm going to go back to our house. I'm going to see if we have carrots or potatoes. I believe we do. And then we're going to, like, build a bigger farm in the village. And then we're going to make all of them farmers... And then I'm going to build a bunch of beds because we should have like a ton of wool. Wait, why would we have a ton of wool? Ah, we can get a ton of wool because there's a bunch of sheep in the CBC SOG. They invaded. Well, they were there initially and I just kind of let them be. But we can get a bunch of wool like super easily. I'm back, baby. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do we have any? I don't even know where wool would be like in here. Oh, yeah, we do have a ton of wool actually. Nice. You see our stone chest is uh, severely lacking. It is severely lacking. I'm gonna put this stuff in the in the rare chest. I feel like this stuff is so rare. We're just gonna put that in there. Let me clear up my inventory a little bit, and then I will come back in a bit. We're going to make a bunch of beds. And let's see, do we have? We do have some potatoes. That's fine. Uh, we can grow those pretty quickly. And we'll just use potatoes. Okay, and then we just need bones. And I don't know. We do have some bones up here, and that'll probably be enough. And then some water buckets. Which I believe are still in my lava farm. I don't even want to think about lava ever again. <laughs> that was not fun filling all those in. But the end product of having a full moat is very nice. Well, they still got emeralds in here? What? Why do I have emeralds in there? 22 iron? Dude, we needed that. <laughs> we don't have it. I just got my coffee going. I got some coffee going, so I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think anything in there. Where are my buckets? Where did I put all those? That's kind of not good. <laughs> I'm kind of worried. <laughs> I don't want to make more buckets. That's where all of our iron went last time. Was we made like, I don't know, inventory full of buckets, like 36 buckets. I think that's an inventory. You got nine in each row. You got four rows. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's not do that again. All right, let's look for some buckets. Where are you at, buckets? Where are you at? There's still some are still full of lava, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I don't know. Do I have infinite water down here? I feel like I should. Every Minecraft house needs infinite water. I don't. Hmm. Where? Oh, <laughs> we built a whole well for it, and I'm over here like, where's my infinite water? Okay. Just two for now, and if we need more, we'll get more. Okay. So, we'll plant these potatoes. Plant these potatoes, and then we're going to get some bone meal. Hmm, where do we want to plant these? We could plant them in our big farm. Oh, wait. We're making a villager. <laughs> what are you talking about? 
I might do this like underground. I might make a little underground room for this because I don't really want them to like die. So maybe we'll do it like in the village, but kind of not in the village, like over here. Maybe something like this. Maybe just like clear out a little section, a little something. A little, uh, yeah. We'll do something like this. Doesn't have to be anything fancy, right? I mean, it, 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 it can be, you know, non-fancy, but I would like it to have like some semblance of structure, if that makes sense. We will have a little too wide entrance. Sure. That's not what I... Mm, it's not what I planned, but sure. It actually works fine. Make some of these. Yep. Not too many, though. I don't want to waste this wood because we really don't have a lot. As silly as that is, we really don't. Stairs like this. And then... Got somewhat of an idea. Although, to be fair, I can't do it on the other side, but I think that's okay. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do it like this. Okay. And then this will just be like that. Sure. Upside down stairs. Sure. I guess. It's okay looking. It's okay looking. The thing is, is that villagers can use everything. Like they can use doors. But for some reason, I always get this recipe inverted. Uh, they cannot use fence gates. Fence gates are just, uh, they just can't do it. So we're just going to put fence gates in the front. They shouldn't be able to get out. And we'll do like... I'll be double secure about it, so I will make another set of fence gates. Wow, you only get one? Wow, I see you, Minecraft. Okay, we'll do like a double kind of set. That way they really can't get out. Not that, you know, I'm trying to trap them and, you know, imprison them in this uh, farm. Nothing like that. It's more so for their own safety. <laughs> for their own safety. We'll put it right there. Okay. Okay, something like this. Now, how much room do we have to, like build i guess it's uh make sure it doesn't like dip down or anything up here oh yeah it's actually fairly flat so i think we could actually dig this out like somewhat reasonably so we'll put three high ceilings in the in the hallway yeah something like that I, we don't need bigger than three high ceilings really anywhere and then we'll start to just kind of dig it out let me go a little bit further in maybe like this and we can definitely space these out a little bit more Okay, like that, sure. Then we could put the torches up a little bit. Put them right there, put them right there, okay. So, I'm gonna dig out a fairly large room. I'll be back when I'm done. And uh, yeah, I don't know if it necessarily has to be even. We'll just kind of feel it out, see how it ends up. Oh, nice, okay, there's a little cave here, so we don't have to dig out as much, not bad. All right, dude, this coffee's really hidden, man. So, I got, this all dug out like this and then we're just going to go whoop and bring it back and it's going to make a big i don't not like a cube but we're going to make it more cubic and not such a not as rectangular re rectagonal you, okay so have you guys ever had like a geometry teacher say that like so you know you're talking about like a shape that's an octagon and they say it's octa octagonal and I remember telling my geometry teacher, I think it's octagonal. And she said, no, it's octagonal. And I was like, no, I'm pretty sure it's octagonal. And I looked it up and it's octagonal. But if I'm wrong, don't tell me. <laughs> if I'm wrong, don't tell me, okay? Just let me be right in my own head, okay? Let me have this win against the dreaded geometry I actually love my geometry teacher. She was a wonderful lady, but... And I also don't remember, aside from like... A few basic things like I really don't remember geometry that well. I feel like that's most math that you take in uh, in high school is you just kind of you learn it, you take the test, end of the year you forget it all. <laughs> I guess you you're proving to yourself that the concept is there. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. A lot of the stuff in school I was not quite sure about. Why? Well, 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 like like trigonometry. Like what? Like, I don't know how many of you have taken trigonometry, but like, what, what, what is that? I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I took, took a whole year on it and like I passed it, but I have no idea what that is or what it is used for. Like there's no, outside of a few niche applications, like there's not really any practical like usage for it. I mean, like I, I work with a lot of high level, well, I work with a few high level developers and like, 
they're bad at math. <laughs> like, so, what do you, maybe like, like I, I, I know a bunch of like high level engineers. Like, like I'm old enough now. Yeah, I just turned 25, guys. I turned 25. End of November is my birthday, and and I turned 25. I feel old. And like so, that's why I say when I work with you know, like, I don't work with them, but I know a lot of engineers and I ask them that they don't really use a lot of math. Like, you're not gonna trust a human's math over a computer. You know what I mean? Like, no matter what you're doing, and like, trust me, the people I'm re referring to, like, are are true engineers, and like, you're not gonna trust a human over a computer program. Like, you're just not gonna. But that's the thing is you need a few people who understand the math so well that they can develop it into a program but once that's done it's it's solidified it's there you know the, the equations for certain things are never gonna change you know, like the, the some of some of these things are so like core to physics that like once they're in a computer unless something drastic changes in our world those things will always be valid but I don't know maybe I'm just maybe I'm just being weird man I don't like a lot of this stuff was a little silly to to teach a 16 year old <laughs> like here you go here's a here's a quadratic expression i need you to simplify it into simplest terms i'm like you need me to do what to who <laughs> I don't, like i feel like if i went back to high school and like tried to do trigonometry or, or like anything i would just fail it now like it took me three years in college to do business calc which is basically water down calculus one which honestly i know like if you're if you're younger and you're watching this like calculus is not that hard especially if you're even a little bit decent at like just algebra it's really not that hard man they're gonna they're gonna tell you oh college is so hard college is so hard it's not that hard it, if if i'm the reason that anyone goes to college that's not gonna happen but I would encourage it. It's a good idea, and I. But I, I. I don't. I don't think you should be scared by the, how difficult it is, unless you're going for like a mathematics degree. Don't worry about it. It's okay. It's okay. You just. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Most college is pretty easy, man. It's pretty easy. There's a lot of people out there who you wouldn't think are able to get degrees, but they do still somehow get a degree, and I don't. I don't understand it. Okay, so we'll clear out like this much more. I won't film any more of it. Um, and then once this is cleared out, we'll just like put a farm in the middle surrounded by beds. I think that's kind of how I've done them in the past. Hopefully I don't end up making a bunch of barrels and making fishermen instead of farmers. I don't know if you guys remember that, but last time I did a villager breeder, I filled it with barrels and we had a, uh, villager breeder full of farmers or for, full of fishermen. And, and I was like, why doesn't it work? Why doesn't it work? Everyone in the comments is like, Neo, are you serious, dude? Like, Okay. I really hope I really hope Kath isn't watching this. She's uh she's someone I work with and she always jokes that I talk about how long I've played the game because some I, I do mention it quite a bit but it, it's it's cool to me okay like I've played this game I'm like looking around to make sure no one's like, I've played this game since 2010 okay it's about to be 2024 I'm about to have played the game 13 going on 14 years 14 years of playing this game. That's crazy. Like, that's actually insane. And a lot of people are like, Neo, the game wasn't out until 2011. The full game, like 1.0, came out in 2011. But I started playing in the alpha days, okay? Back on the computer. I mean, I'm still on the computer, but there was a lot of versions before the game actually fully came out. There was, there was quite a few. <gasps> you guys hear that? I think it's a rainy day. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to give the secret code right now. You want to know what the secret code is? Rainy day. I want you guys to put rainy day down in the comments just like that. That is today's secret code. Ah, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Hopefully it's not going to turn dark too soon. <laughs> maybe maybe we don't want to do the rainy day in here because it's a little bit dark, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. It used to not be like any uh, brightness controls in Minecraft for a while. Definitely makes the torches more dynamic. You can see their flicker a little bit better. Um, okay, so I'm going to craft all the beds we're going to need. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to attempt to. I mean, to be honest with you, they're kind of a little bit tricky to craft just because you can't stack them. 
we'll go ahead and put up everything that we can and then we'll take the rest of this and then we'll just make as many beds as we can oh no <laughs> I don't I don't want to throw the wool on the ground I, I'd rather have some stone on the ground or something like that yeah that's fine and uh, we'll just place these on the outskirts like this you can just middle click by the way if you need to select whatever block you're looking at like you could select you know dirt if you have it but I don't have stone in my inventory people are always like how do you do that you just click in on the scroll wheel if you're on Java if you're on bedrock I'm sorry you can't do it but if you're on the console you're on the phone you can't do it I am sorry there wasn't a video out sooner I was also working on the prison server for Neo Network we uh, got that out on oh I'm already out of beds we got that out like yesterday well yesterday as I'm recording this but for you, it may not be yesterday, so go on your network. Go check out the prison server if you want. It's pretty fun. If you don't know what prison is, I'd... it's kind of hard to explain, but it's it, it's a fun game mode for some people. It's not my favorite, but some people really, really like it. Okay. Now, I don't really think we need, like, a ton of villagers, but I would like a good bit. Because eventually, I want to do a trading hall. I feel like everyone has a nice trading hall. I always watch the Let's Plays on YouTube. I get jealous. Everyone has some so much stuff. Comparison is the thief of joy, though. Don't, don't, don't compare yourself to others. But maybe it's okay if you're comparing like a Minecraft world. I don't think that's too serious. I think it's more so for like life in general. But maybe for a, maybe for a, a Minecraft world, it's okay. Now I don't know exactly how I want to do. I feel like some planks would be okay. I hate to like do it like this. But I think I'm going to use this for light in the middle because I don't think the crops will grow otherwise. Wait a second. No, I was going to say, we could do skylights, but that's a little, like... Actually, I mean, we can't... Wait. First of all, let's just sleep in the bed. We have a bunch of... But yeah, rainy day is the secret code. One, dirt, one word, rainy day. Put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you're watching right now. Because some people skip to the end and cheat to get the secret code. That's not cool. That's not cool. Um, I don't believe how many stone. See, I, I wanted to do like a few skylights in here so that it's not so dark, but at the same time, oh. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, I don't want to dig up into some poor villager's house. So like, oh, yeah, that's fine right there. Okay. What about over here though? Is this is this in a villager's house? Yeah, <laughs> that's in a villager's house. What about right here? That's in the corner of a villager's house. Uh, so that means we could do one like right here. Yeah. Okay. Now we do have to make sure villagers do not fall into these. And yes, I'm, I'm making them uneven on purpose. I kind of just want some little... Uh, that way during the day it's super bright and then at night it'll be like not as dark. But the reason I put these here is because the crops need light to grow or they will not grow. As I have uh, discovered during my uh, th 14 years play. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna find glass in my house. I hope I have it or we can just we can go find some sand or something. I don't know. I feel like I had a lot of glass at some point and then I didn't because I used it all. I, guess, I mean, that that's fair. That makes sense. But I'm gonna go over here to the beach and I'm just gonna grab a bunch of glass and then we'll, I don't know, we'll build some skylights. The beach is actually kind of far over here. Just think, wait, is there one closer over in this direction? I don't think so. I don't think it's actually closer. We never conquered that thing, but to be fair, there's nothing really there. I, actually, we may have gone up in it to check the loot, and the loot in them is pretty bad, which doesn't make sense. They're kind of hard, right? Like, they're not like a super easy thing to like go in there and, you know, kill everything. I mean, once you have diamond armor, yeah, but I don't know. I feel like you get better stuff in like a desert temple. We've also had we haven't done any of like the the armor trims or. But like, why? <laughs> you can't even see your armor. Like you're, we're playing on single player. Like unless I press F five, like we can't. Like I don't see my own armor. Like I mean, it, it, it's a cool feature I think for like multiplayer. But like, I don't I don't really I don't really get it. Like why is that what they spent so long making? And like, okay, the brush and brushing stuff, bruh, come, come on, can someone just, can someone admit it, come on, someone in the comments has to agree, what is that, <laughs> what is that? 
That's what they spent. That's that was a big update. Is you could brush a block and then get some loot from the brush. Like what? I did recently watch a video. I don't know if it was uh, IBX Toy Cat. I don't know who it was, but they were talking about it was like a, a leak from someone who used to work at Mojang. And micro, and supposedly Microsoft. Supposedly Microsoft is very protective of Minecraft because they don't want to. They don't want to push out an update that changes the core gameplay loop. Like, they're very afraid of losing the magic that makes Minecraft Minecraft. And I think in doing that, they're going to lose it by having stuff like you could brush a block and get... But I do think the new update is crazy with the auto crafters, dude. Being able to make, like, factories that actually produce items is so exciting. Like, I am actually hyped for 1.21. This update, I mean, it's fine. But that's the thing is we're gonna keep this world through the updates. Like I'm planning on this being like a years long world, like for once, finally, because we're just in uh, survival. I mean, if we wanna create a new world, maybe we'll do it, but I wanna kinda stick to this world. I really like it. Ooh, it should be good. I don't know if we have any coal over there. Maybe we need five extra. I don't know if we have any coal over there or what, but. I guess we can make some charcoal. It's a crafty table. Okay, I'll meet you guys back over there at our villager farm. Just watching a little video as I run over here. Oh, nice. Of the uh, golden age of Minecraft, you know, back in beta 1.7.3. That was probably my biggest version that I played, like, the most of by far. That was right before something called the Adventure Update, which added enchanting, added basic villagers that you couldn't trade with, I forget what else it added. It added a bunch of stuff, but yeah, I, I don't know. I'm like watching this video and a lot of people like didn't like that. They, they felt like that was too much of like RPG and I don't necessarily agree with that, but I don't know. Would you guys ever want to see me play like the versions that I'm like most familiar with? Like the, uh, not the most familiar with, but like, I don't know, like, like an old beta version of Minecraft. Would you ever want to see me make a let's play on that? Or is that kind of something that I, I don't really know how popular that would be. And there's not like... I feel like there's just not as much to do in those versions because you can't like I mean there's just there's just not as much to do like there's just not and a lot of people really like those versions of Minecraft and I do too like part of me does you know you know the nostalgia factor but there's not as much like the game was not as finished but maybe it'd be cool to do a little mini series on it or something I don't know if you want to see that let me know in the comments I do read all the comments okay even in my absence, you know, every week I'll go through and I'll read all the comments and I'll heart them when I read them. And you know, maybe I've missed a few here and there, but I am only human. I am only human. Sometimes I do miss them. Now, I don't know if we have any coal. I didn't look. I just saw the uh, skylights and I was like, I kind of want to put some logs around them. And uh, I remember back when I first started playing, like, right, there was no orientation on logs. They always faced straight up. You could not rotate them. You couldn't, like do anything and that's kind of the vibe I'm getting here with these skylights I want them to be super just dead simple like I don't I don't want them to I don't want them to be complicated like I want them to be absolutely just Minecraft with just some glass blocks in them the first time I played Minecraft I played Minecraft classic which was basically creative mode back before survival was ever a thing it was just like a bunch of and there were servers actually it was really fun is it all? Is it all the skylights? Um, I think so. I mean, I don't see how there could be more. I thought there was another one. There's three on this side, and then one, and oh, this one, this one right here. We forgot about it. I don't think we have enough oak to fill it in, though. Okay, we gotta go get some more wood. Hold on. This is not me stealing the villager's tree. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. We'll plant it back. Okay, we'll plant it back. Maybe. Plant a bunch of cherry trees in here, but no more oak. Oak is out of style. We'll probably have to change these to cherry logs at some point, too. Okay, so now it'll be bright in here during the day. During the night, it may be a little bit darker, but it's also no longer a rainy day. Sad. No longer a rainy day. Um, did we get any coal? We did, actually. That's the thing is we can't, <laughs> we can't break it. Like, oh, you know what? We 
can break it. We can make an iron pickaxe. And maybe we'll do... After we sleep, we'll make a big tower and we'll break it. Something like that. But for now, until... I don't really want to be goofing around too long on this. Oh. We'll do this. See, we can't even make a furnace. We got to put... <laughs> I mean, silk touch is... It, it is nice, but like... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Like, don't get me wrong. I love having a nice pickaxe, but I really like fortune, too. I really like fortune. I like fortune 3, okay? But I, I don't like fortune 2. Who uses fortune 2? I don't think anyone. Okay, let's get this. Let's get this cooking. Uh, sure, we'll start with that. Okay, now we can sleep. I'm going to make a big coal tower. And we're going to break it down. It may actually take quite a bit to break down, but you can get a nice little view when we get to the top. Okay, everything's looking pretty good. We got our quarry. Enchanting area, which just looks so... It just... It looks so nice. It looks so nice. We got Lauren's house over there. She hasn't seen it yet in the game. I showed her a picture of it, though. So I'm excited for her to see it. We got the windmill. We got our farms. Yeah. Castle, a little, uh, <laughs> yeah, little bamboo farm is maybe a little bit uh, unsightly. We, we never we, we never finished the back of it. I forgot about that. Let's just not look at it. Let's just not look at it. Let's not look at it. We need to do a live stream where we just kind of like do everything that like I don't normally do in the episodes. Like, you know, fix the back of that and farm some cobblestone. It'd be kind of fun. It'd be kind of fun. Okay, I'm gonna dig all this out, and then, honestly, five coal was enough. I don't need to dig all this out, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I mean, I kind of have to. I'm not gonna leave this. I'm also kind of upset, because it's too cold to ride my motorcycle, but I'm gonna try to ride it after I record today. I think it'll be... I think it'll be okay. It's just gonna be a little bit cold. You gotta, like, put on two jackets, wear, like, a shirt, and then a jacket, and then the motorcycle jacket. Like, try to wear two pairs of pants, but it's like... It's like 50 degrees, man. It's too cold. It's too cold. I mean, like, I, I, 50 degrees isn't too cold, okay? But it's been, like, really, really cold. It's been, like, really, really cold. 30 degrees, stuff like that. Okay, that's enough for three of the skylights. Look at those. They look like old school little skylights. I like it. You only need eight more pieces of glass. And the villagers will be happy. I don't know if any of them are in there. I don't, I don't think. Well, maybe they, actually, they could have wandered in here. Got no takers. I am gonna have to craft. Oh, I'm just gonna wait on this. Uh, for barrels. Oh, we don't have enough wood. Okay, we're gonna have to go get more wood. I could just, you know, totally make like a little oak tree farm. Maybe there's some saplings over where we uh, broke the oak tree. Over here, it hasn't been five minutes, so let's go check. And we could just grow a few with bone meal and uh. Yeah, we should have a few. There we go. Don't want that apple, though. Six! Yes, we have six. Are you the one who had mending for a terrible price? Is that you good, sir? No, actually. Oh, nice. Okay. So, we'll grow these out, and uh, I'll just get a bunch of wood, and then I'll come back, because we really don't have enough wood to be messing around with making barrels for the uh, the job blocks. Oh, it's kind of nice over here, too. That's a lot of bone meal for... Oh, <laughs> that's going to make a big tree. I guess it isn't really dependent on how much bone meal you use, but sometimes I feel like when I use a lot of bone meal on one sapling, it's going to be like, extra big, but... Nice. Okay, I don't even think we got six saplings from that. We got five saplings. Oh, no. No, we got six. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't really remember. I think it's like... Is a barrel just a slab and then... I don't know. It's like barrel. No, it's not barrel. No, 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 no. I no, thought I was lacking. No, no, no. It's just... Oh, it's just slabs. Yeah, we'll have enough for that for sure. Okay. And then... Uh, let's just turn that off. It's kind of helpful. Calm poster. 21. Do we need more than 21? We don't need more than 28. Can confirm. No more than 28. And then we'll put these like here. 
Now, hopefully they'll just like come in here and I don't have to like heavily encourage them to come here. Uh, where can we put like a few more? Does it really matter if we have more? <laughs> I think it'll be okay if we don't have four more. It'll be okay. All right, and now we gotta take the dirt and we gotta make the actual farm. So the farm will just be, sometimes they hop off the bed. So I'm gonna make sure there's like a one block gap and I'll turn all of this area into the farm. Okay, I'll be back when I have this all filled with dirt, tilled with water in it. And then we'll try to get some villagers in here and we'll see how she goes. Hopefully, hopefully it goes smoothly, we'll see. Okay, so I needed four buckets of water, which is super convenient. I'm going to go ahead, till this thing out. And if I remember correctly, like potatoes are one of those things that are like super duper easy to uh, multiply. So let me till this real quick. It's kind of loud. Okay, so let's plant a few. Oh. See, the brightness is, I guess, too low to plant there, which is not good. <laughs> it definitely needs... It needs to be bright enough to plant stuff in here, so we may have to, like, do this. Hopefully, does that run into the skylight? No, actually, it's perfect. That was all that I was worried about, is if the brightness is too low, then we can't plant stuff. So, you know, this isn't, like, the best-looking uh, solution, and I don't know how it's going to work over here. Uh, maybe we'll just do, like, little, uh, little uh, torch things. Yeah, it doesn't look the best. I know, I know. Oh, we don't have enough coal? Ugh, we don't have enough coal. It's probably best that we do this at night as well. We're gonna go ahead and take the rest of that coal because we need some more torches desperately. There we go. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll make sure it, it, it works at night because at night, that's probably the most important and probably like the most likely to not work at that it is. So, like, can we plant here now? Yes, so we'll make sure we can plant over there in a second. So what I'm going to do in the next little bit is I'm going to plant a bunch of potatoes like this. Let's see, we started, oh, we started off with like six, now we have 32. So let's make sure we can like plant because it's dark now. Yeah, we're just fine now. Cool. Okay, so give me a little bit. Again, I'm just going to bone meal this stuff and hopefully we'll come back with a full field of potatoes. I just heard a very bad noise. I just heard a very bad noise. I think one of the villagers up here just got infected. I don't even, I don't, where is our iron golem? Where is our iron golem? We got, <gasps> where is the iron golem? Where did the iron golem go? Oh no, <laughs> oh no, dude, the poor villagers. Oh, hey, we're far enough away somehow. That's not good. Dude, did all the villagers... I shouldn't have been doing this at night, but I figured it'd be fine. I, th I thought we had an iron golem here. Ah, uh, we should have built a wall earlier. Uh, it's not necessarily the best situation possible. I'm, I'm, I'm really not even sure what I'm supposed to do now. I think we still have enough villagers. We just need two. We just need two. So, we'll see. Hold on. Okay, well, that's all our potatoes. And we got almost the whole thing filled up. So now we got to try to get some villagers in here. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. Okay, so where are all the villagers? Where are all the villagers? Yeah, it makes me even more nervous because this has not been, like, farmed in a while. Oh, no. Villagers, where'd you go? I don't see any. I haven't seen any for a while. What are you doing? Your whole village is getting slaughtered and you're just chilling over here? Are you stuck? Oh, <gasps> He's stuck in here. I didn't even realize he was stuck in the tree prison. Someone put him in a tree prison. Dude, that, that's kind of wild. That's actually kind of wild. Is there any villagers left? I don't think there are. Oof. Because I've sat AFK in my bamboo farm. Oh, wait, there is one in here. I've sat AFK in my bamboo farm uh, quite a few times, so... Okay, come on, buddy. I'm gonna lead you with the with the job block. Yep. Keep on a trucking over here. Got the best jobs for you in all of Minecraftia. Nope, you keep on a trucking over here. Come on. Yes, you see the job block. Very, very, very good. Okay. Oh, almost had it. <laughs> Look kind of bad when you do that, but you gotta do what you gotta do. 
Especially when, uh, when stuff like this is happening. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You see, you see the job at hand. Don't act like you don't see it. Oh, he's like, wait, you, you got to be stuck in here, dude. All right, you have fun with that. We got to find one more villager, and I know that there's a librarian in here, and I don't think he has his job locked. I don't think he does. Yeah, I think our mending uh, villager is dead, unfortunately. I'm not sure where he went. <laughs> we'll have to go find him, I guess. Come on, buddy. Better jobs await you here. Come join Neo Town. Extraordinaire. Uh, okay, that's not too far away. Okay, you are seeking. Yes, yes. Can you see into here? Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, you can. Come on, get yes. We just need two. Here we go. The start of our village. Oh, 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 they planted carrots in there. Oh, that's not good. We don't like carrots around here. We don't like carrots around these parts. Now, I don't see any other villagers. Like, I, I think they literally all died. Which is kind of upsetting. <laughs> like, I, it's kind of upsetting. Oh, no, oh, no, I think I'm hearing the one under there. Yep, I think all the villagers are dead. Wow. Well, okay. Uh, the Iron Golem got stuck while I was AFKing at the bamboo farm, and, well, that that's what happens. <laughs> Your whole village is wiped out. Thank God there were two, still two left, though. I mean, that's kind of lucky. Yeah. It is kind of lucky. Yeah, look at this. this is a ghost town now. Well, yeah, before we open the doors to the, uh, the villager breeder, obviously we're going to have to, like put a wall around it and light it up because yeah we can't have that happen again so what i'll do is i'll afk here like overnight and we'll just kind of let him go all right well i'm gonna call it for today we did have some good progress we'll record more soon and uh you know try to get an episode or two out a week might record again tomorrow we'll see but i should live stream tonight i think if you're watching this on tuesday or, or wednesday or maybe i'll live stream soon i don't know Anyways, you guys know the secret code. If I'm not going to say it again. For those of you who actually watched the whole thing, you will know the secret code. For those of you who skipped around, ha! You missed it. I appreciate you guys very, very much. Thank you for sticking with me. And uh, yeah, hope everyone has a wonderful day out there. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye! <laughs>